My name is Jake and welcome to Can I Fix It? So my brother recently came back from Argentina and he bought this pair of Gamma clippers while he was down there. When he got back, he used it for a while until the battery died and then he ran into a problem. As he went to charge it, he realized that the charger was not a US charger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this charger, we're going to take the part of it that plugs into the pair of clippers and we are going to attach this to a USB cable so that then he can charge it wherever he wants. So one thing that we need to take note of here is that this thing runs off of 5 volts and 1 amp. Most phone charger adapters also run off of 5 volts. So as long as we find one that gives at least 1 amp, it should be able to charge this pair of clippers. So now let's grab a pair of scissors and cut this end off. Just like that. So as you can see here, one of the sides of the wire has a white stripe on it and the other one is straight black. So we'll need to figure out which one of those is negative and which one of those is positive. As you look here, there's this picture right here that shows that the left side on this thing is plus and the right side is minus. Looking at the wires, this means that the one with the white stripe is plus and the black one is minus. Now that we have those two wires prepared, let's do the same thing on our USB cord. Now this USB cord was just an old one that I had lying around for an old phone of mine. It's a micro USB, which I haven't had a micro USB charging phone in forever. I'm not going to need this cable, and all we want is this part right here. So this is a USB cable that is solely used for charging. So it only has the black and red wires. Some of the USB cables you might have laying around your house will have four wires in them. A red one, a black one, a green one, and a white one. And if you do have a cord like that, it'll still work. You just won't do anything with the green and white wires. So these wires are really tiny compared to these ones, but supposedly most USB cables can carry 1.5 amps worth of current when charging devices and not using data. This thing only uses one amp, so we should be okay. Turns out my fingernail works pretty well. Now we got both of those nice and long. Should be pretty simple to attach them to these guys here. And again, the one with the white stripe is the positive, which is going to go to the red of this one. And the black one is negative, which will go to the black of this one. Before we do this, we're gonna slide a little bit of heat shrink onto this side. Now we'll twist those wires together. So those are soldered on there pretty good, I think. Now we're gonna put some shrink wrap on them to protect them. Before we wrap the rest of that up with some electrical tape, let's test this thing to see if it's working. Now, you wanna make sure that you plug this into the right adapter. So you're not gonna to wanna to plug this directly into your computer because that's not gonna give you the one amp that you need to charge this thing. So you're gonna to wanna to use a phone charger adapter like these ones, except make sure you read the label to make sure it does give you one amp. For instance, this one says 5 volts, 0 0.7 amps. So this one is not going to be enough. And if you were to use this one, it would probably hit pretty hot as it's trying to pump out one amp, but it won't be able to. So this one would not be a safe option. This one, on the other hand, is rated for 5 volts and 2 amps. So it's okay to go above one amp because that just means that this is capable of giving two amps and we only need one amp so this one will be sufficient. So let's plug it into this guy and see if we can charge our device. 
We'll let that charge for a little bit and then we'll test it and see if it's working. So after leaving it in there for a little bit, a light came up to indicate that it is charging. So it looks like this is working great. And all that's left to do is use some electrical tape so we can clean up these wires. Looking pretty good. So here we have the finished product. We were able to take a cord that used to look like this and turn it into one that is actually powered via a USB cable that can be plugged into any phone charger with the same voltage and enough amperage. Again, this is something that I want to stress is to make sure that the adapter that you're using is the exact same voltage. In this case, it was five volts and make sure it has at least enough amperage to power the device. But this is a great method of converting foreign chargers that don't work on US outlets to something like USB, which can be used wherever you want. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and let me know in the comments what you thought of this fix. I'm Jake and thanks for watching, Can I Fix It?